Hey everyone, it's JoJo and I'm bringing you another Beyblade Burst Turbo video review. Today I have a Slingshock dual pack. On the left we have Cyclops C4 and on the right is the most anticipated Beyblade of Beyblade Burst Turbo, Phoenix P4. And check it out. So the one on the left is a Hasbro exclusive Beyblade. And this one is just a Turbo <laughs> Beyblade. But it comes with a really good disc. So I'm really excited about that. Also curious about the uh, Phoenix P4 layer. So that was that was the front here is the back side. Cyclops C4 is considered a stamina type. It spins to the right. The forge, There's a forged disc and the performance tip and we got the slingshock meter with the uh, other stats down here and check out that stamina it's at 11. here on the right we got phoenix p4 this is a defense type there's the energy layer the disc and the performance tip again uh the slingshock meter and all of the stats uh really low everywhere but uh we got some pretty high defense. So 11 defense for Phoenix and 11 stamina for Cyclops. All right, let's get this Beyblade open. These Beyblades open. Here we go. Let's start off with Cyclops C4. Save the best for last. And man, I got to tell you, if this was metal, like this golden part was metal, this would be really, really great. It does have some really like hard edges, but still it would be a really awesome like Maybe even like a stationary attack type, but still, just, oh man, just missed opportunity there. But just is, this is just like a really nicely designed Beyblade. I love the colors, love the, the metallic, the gold. Um, this is, uh, you can see the Cyclops eye down there and the C right there in the middle. It just looks really awesome and I really, really would have loved to see how Takara Tommy would have gone with this. But man, that it's just an awesome looking layer. This would have been really, really great, in my opinion. Uh, maybe not like superior, but still, it would just, it would be not, it would be nice. And here we got the back side. Here's the code. If you guys don't have it already, um, it is a little empty on the outside there. Even though this is considered a stamina type, but still, most of it is pretty uh, circular and more out toward the outside of the layer. But man, that just looks amazing <laughs> oh i didn't even notice that these are kind of like teeth kind of looks like an orc too <laughs> all right so we got the forge disc comes with five and the performance tip the slingshock performance tip is basically we've seen this before it's like flugel with the uh a sharp point down at the bottom but uh when you slide this little tab over or yeah just slide it down actually it becomes a um a really wide whole lot there but yeah amazing looking layer it's my favorite part of this baby Beyblade it just looks really cool and man uh, really weak in the slopes but man just it just looks really nice I I'm just wishing this was metal all right now let's move on to Phoenix P4 and I'll also be doing a uh, a comparison with the Takara Tomy version Revive Phoenix. So we got the energy layer and guess what? You guys probably know this. The gimmick works. So the armor does come off and it has like this center core here. Um, so the armor is meant to come off during battle. But here's the center core. We got this nice Phoenix here in the middle. Nice flame colors. Nice sparkly bits on the outside too or on the underside. Here's the code, go ahead and scan that. Here's the armor. And no, these are not metal. <laughs> but oh well. And there's also some metal on the outside, or, or I mean on the inner like core of the Takahatomi version, which I'll uh, compare in a little bit. But yeah, that is Phoenix P4, the energy layer. And to put the armor back on, it's almost identical to the Takahatomi version where there's like these little hooks or I don't know what you call those but those little um, protrusions that come out and there should be a space for them in the layer and you just turn it and uh, it should lock all together when you put the Beyblade together all together yeah um, I noticed that the plastic on here is again with the Hasbro plastic really soft and just kind of unpolished looking so it doesn't look as nice as Takara Tomy but still pretty glad that the uh, gimmick works. Just not sure how that's gonna 
be without the metal. And we got a really good forged disc. This is 10. This is actually really great for uh, stamina. I like using that with Archer Hercules and Revive, Revive Phoenix. And we got the performance tip. So I think this is supposed to be like friction, but a slingshot version. We got a rounded tip, kind of like a flat ball. And then to change to slingshot mode, you just, again, slide that little tab over. And now it is, it's got like a flatter, but it's, like, it's more round. It's like a rounded flat. Uh, but yeah, that is Revive. I'm sorry, that is Phoenix P4. Now for a com comparison to Takara Tomy, we got Phoenix right here. And just looking at the color aesthetics wise, Takara Tomy definitely takes the trophy there. Just Hasbro looks really dull. It kind of looks like a play school. I don't mean to <laughs> bash on Hasbro too much, but it really does look like a play school toy. Um, this one definitely nice, nicer shine to it better details because of that shine you could really see like the shadows and everything in the layer and of course the gimmick does work on Takara Tomy but yeah that is just kind of a looks comparison now let's do a weight test and I know my scale isn't accurate it rounds to the nearest five and I should probably switch that over to uh, uh, Graham, so Hasbro with the armor on, that's 11. Takara Tomy with the armor on, whew, 23, more than double. And Hasbro with just the armor, 3, and then just the core, 8. And for Takara Tomy, just the armor, 9. And just the core part is 14. So yeah, definitely uh, better choice is <laughs> Takara Tomy. All right, so let's put Phoenix P4 back uh, together. You kind of have to hold the armor until it it should click. Well, yeah, it should just kind of stay like that. All right, let's do some test spins and test battles with these two Beyblades. Test launch time. I've got the Rail Rush base stadium here, and let's start off with Cyclops C4. I'm just gonna throw it right into slingshot mode because we all know how it is with just the uh, sharp tip. Three, two, one, let it. <laughs> Nice, it uh, carries itself really well up in those rails. But on second thought, I kind of do want to see it stationary because I want to see how balanced the energy layer is. All right, so last test launch for Cyclops. Three, two, one, let it. <laughs> Oh yeah, that looks pretty nice. I mean, it is kind of swirling around a little bit, but uh, either way, pretty balanced. I think if we just switch up the uh, performance tip, it would be a lot better, even the forged disc as well. Up next, Phoenix P4. First in normal mode, three, two, one, let it. <laughs> Still got some uh, pretty good movement because of that wide uh, ball, or the flat ball. Now let's switch it over to slingshot mode. Three, two, one, let it. Wow, it kind of skips over, like the rails, it skipped over here That's uh, one time. I think that may be because it's not completely flat, like, for instance, Flugel, it's not 
just doesn't have a hard edge. It has like a rounded edge. So it's more likely to go over and like the, the rails. It's not stopping itself from, um, it's not really guiding around the rails. It's just kind of hopping over it a little bit. All right, so with that said, let's do some test battles. Let's throw both of these in slingshot mode. Three, two, one, let it. Oh! The armor came off because it hit the wall. It looks like it's gonna win. It's just stalling. It's just stalling Cyclops. Alright, not much of a battle there. Let's try this again. Three, two, one, let it. Alright, there goes the armor. And so the objective of the armor falling off is to help trip up the other Beyblade. And since Cyclops did hit it a few times, it's gonna lose stamina there. And again, your winner is... Phoenix P4. So that is where I'm going to end this video. Let me know what you guys think about Phoenix P4 and Cyclops C4. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and I will see you guys next time with more Beyblade Burst. See you soon.